What's up guys, it's your boy Jordan, back with another e-commerce video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a case study for you guys. I'm gonna be building a brand new store and seeing how far we can scale it in just two to three days with products from the Viral Vault. This is my all-in-one e-com toolkit where we provide you guys with the products and everything you need to go out there and launch them. But a lot of people have been asking me for a case study, so I figured that this is the perfect combination to take some of these products and see how far we can take them. So I'm literally gonna be showing you guys the products we select. I'm gonna show you the story I created. I'm gonna show you guys the process of me launching the ads and basically let you look over my shoulder at the whole entire thing. Nothing will be left out of this. This will be completely transparent because I wanna provide you guys value and more importantly, show you that this is real and that you can go out there and do the exact same thing. So listen guys, I need you guys to hit that like button and hit that subscribe if you wanna see more e-commerce content like this. But right now we're gonna go ahead and jump over to my computer and get started with with this case study. This is day one. I still haven't even launched the ads for this product. I'm gonna be doing everything with you guys live and take you through every step of the way. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. All right, so let's get started with this case study. I'm super excited for this because I'm curious on what results we will get in this next two days of testing. But before we jump into launching the ads live and me showing you guys the store and the products, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the strategy that I'm following. So that way, when you're watching, you can follow along and you can understand exactly why I picked these products, why I'm launching the ads this way, and there's no confusion. But before we jump into this, I just wanna give you guys a heads up that the viral vault is currently closed if you go to the website and you try to join you're not going to be able to the reason for this is because I wanted to keep it exclusive and I wanted to limit the competition for the users inside of there but you can join the waitlist and at the end of the month I'm gonna be opening up a few spots if you're interested in getting in that's gonna be the only way you could join so just wanted to let you guys know that before we jump in and the link to that is down below in the description but the goal in this next 48 hours is to see how far we can scale with a viral vault product and ad. I'm going to be showing you guys the product that I selected and show you guys what it looks like on the back end. So no need to worry, but that is what we're going to do. And I'm curious to see what we can do with it. So, and I'm going to be showing you guys everything. I'm not going to leave anything out. You're going to see the product. You're going to see me launching the ads and all of this is on a fresh pixel fresh ad account, literally starting from zero. So this is the strategy. We're gonna use the products from the vault. We're gonna look for one product with room for improvement. If you guys ever seen my content, especially my product research content, this is at the forefront of what I talk about. You wanna find that stuff that has gone viral and has room for you to do better. And I'll talk about that a little bit more. Also, I'm gonna be creating a hybrid store for these products and optimizing it to the highest level. I'm gonna be testing with Facebook ads and we're gonna see how much we can scale in 48 hours with a $300 budget max. Um, the reason for this is because I wanna show you guys that you don't have to spend thousands upon thousands to get your first results. And if you're curious about what a hybrid store is, is basically uh, like a broad niche store. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. And when you guys see the store, it'll make more sense. But um, yeah, so this is what the days are gonna look like. Today, I've picked the product. I've already taken about an hour, two hours to build up the store. And I'm gonna be launching the ads with you guys live. Tomorrow, I'm gonna jump back on. I'm gonna review the data and we're gonna scale the ones that have potential. And then day three, we're gonna kill the losers and scale the winners. I figured we'd include a day three because the first day, I don't really count it in that 48 hours because we need to have two full days of ad spend so it'll be about three days of clips and I'll put them all together so before we jump in I want to talk to you guys about product selection and why I've picked the product that I chose so um, my team like I said is looking for products that have gone viral which means that they have shown interest they have shown that there's a market for the product and there is room for improvement when I show you guys the product you'll fully understand what I'm talking about Basically, I'm looking for a product that has crushed it on a general store, but it has room to be niched down slightly and build a hybrid store around it. And this is an incredibly easy way to capture the low hanging fruit. Um, this is something that I teach heavily, especially if you guys have watched my recent product research video. So I'm gonna put it into action here and let you guys see how this works. And I'm also looking for products that are in season because 
fall and winter is very soon is coming upon us right now so it doesn't make sense for me to sell a summer product or a beach product or something along those lines so I'm really looking for those fall and winter based products okay and if you're thinking about the specific traits or the factors that I look at when researching products these are the ones I like to look for products that have gone viral recently or and you guys are gonna see this with this product a similar product has gone viral recently okay and what I mean by that is it's the same problem that the product is solving but it's slightly different and I'll tell you the benefit of that soon so also like to look for stuff with room for improvement basically meaning that there's something that we can step in and do better on whether that's creative whether that's niching down a little bit whether that's having a better website there's some room for improvement they all solve a problem for the customer. This is a given. Almost every product that you test needs to be a problem solver. These products are all unique. They have a wow factor and they all have a decent profit margin as well. So let's take a look at the product I've selected and the store that I have built. So the store that I built, I just came up with this name using this tool called Lean Domain Search. Um, the store's name is called Polar Palace. Basically, I thought of this just for riding the trend of the cold fall and winter season. And it also is going to give us higher perceived value by having this good branding. It will be easier to upsell too. And we can build up a solid customer list and pixel data. So let's take a look at the store real quick. You guys can see, uh, I'll refresh real quick. Very simple store, uh, very straight to the point. We have the logo, we have a nice header, some HD images that I took from Shopify, uh, burst.shopify.com. You guys can use all those images for your store. We have a few collections here, um, premium gear, snow sports, essentials, uh, basically introducing them to the brand. So avid snow sports enthusiasts, we understand the importance of functionality when it comes to your needs. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is create the perceived value of having a branded business. Now, look, you can still get results with general stores. I still teach people to get started with general stores if you're brand new. But if you're having some marketing experience, if you're pretty set on making one product work, then building out one of these broad niche stores is a very good option for you. So you guys can see I just put a couple products on the homepage. This is our guy right here that we're going to be working with. And you guys can see I've optimized the page. I put some reviews in there. We've got the colors ready to go. We've got the shoe sizes ready. I've gotten the description. And all of this came directly from Viral Vault. So all that I did here was click import product and I imported directly to the store. You guys can see that the description is pretty much uh, identical to the one that came from the vault. And we provide you guys with everything. So you can see here, uh, we've got the video ad ready to go that I'm gonna be using. Uh, we've got ad copy that we can use. We've got a thumbnail. We can check on a similar product that has gone viral like I was talking about. You guys can see these winter boots right here. They went super viral last year, but um, it's a slightly different design. So my theory is that people are interested in this type of product. People want an indestructible winter boot, but if we show them a slightly different version, it will stand out, it will pop to them as opposed to running the same one that these guys did. And then uh, you guys can see we have the AliExpress data. But the other big thing to note about this product is that it has a very high profit margin. We're looking at $38 profit or more on every sale, especially if we set up some upsells too. So this seems like a good product with some potential. And you guys can see the landing page here. It's ready to go. So the um, like this is what I want to talk about next, talking about like why not choosing a general store. I already mentioned this a little bit, but some people might be questioning it. Uh, if you're wanting to like rapidly test a bunch of products and find one that you can build up a niche or hybrid store around, general stores are a good option. But if you're having a product that you're pretty confident on and you know that you have the marketing skills to make it work, then it makes more sense to build out a store like this. So like I tell people, if you're brand new, you never had a winning product, you don't really have a clue of how this game works, use that general store as your testing platform, learn your marketing skill set, build it up, and once you find that winner, build up a niche or hybrid store around that product. So um, this is the product I already showed you guys, but these are the factors that I selected it based off of. Similar products have gone viral like we saw it's a unique design it's a major problem solver and it has that mass appeal you know everybody's gonna need a pair of good boots for the winter and it's also perfect timing for the season so based off these factors I didn't include the high profit margin but that's a big one too based off these factors I really feel confident in this product so 
let's go ahead and let's launch these ads live. I'm going to take the video ad directly from Viral Vault. I'm going to jump into Premiere and stick my logo on it. But other than that, it's going to be the same exact video. And I'm going to take you guys through the process of launching this stuff live. It'll be on a fresh ad account, brand new pixel. Everything will be from scratch. So let's go ahead, jump into the ad account and get started with that. So as you guys can see, we're on a brand new ad account, no filters or anything. There is nothing that has been launched on this account. So let's go ahead and create the campaign. What I'm gonna do is create one of the ad sets with you guys and then I'll go through create the rest and show you the finished campaign. That way we can keep this video a little shorter. But let's go ahead, we're gonna set up a conversion campaign. I love to go straight for purchase. Uh, you don't need to go PPE first or add to cart first. You can go straight to purchase. And we're just gonna call it the name of the shoe. So uh, snow boots. I just call it a website conversion and we're going to be doing the big four audiences for this uh, just to keep a higher quality batch of people doing e packet is good but it's super broad and you're going to get traffic from all over the place so if you're on a more restrained budget uh, i would say go with the big four option but let's go ahead you guys can see brand new ad account so we're going to set it up um, los angeles time hit continue and boom so uh, we literally don't even have a pixel set up on this. So I'm gonna go ahead, set up the pixel. This is not gonna be a pixel tutorial. I'm just gonna do that real quick and I'll come right back when it's done. All right, so the pixel is set up now. When I do targeting, I like to go extremely broad because it lets Facebook do the heavy lifting. I don't really like to do like super narrow or super targeted ad sets, especially when testing. So for this first one, I'm literally just gonna go with like outerwear, like people that are looking for like jackets and that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and let's type that up. So uh, we'll say big four, let's say snow boots. So we can go down here now and we can pick our locations. Okay, we've got that dialed in. Now for our gender, usually I don't narrow it down unless it's very specific, and in this case it is. No women are gonna be buying this product unless it's like a gift for their uh, man. So for detailed targeting, we'll put outerwear, like I said. And remember, this is just a test. So I'm trying to go as broad as I can, but with the group of people that I think would be most likely to go with this. To figure out the rest of my audiences, I love using this suggestions tool. And in this, we're gonna find the rest of our audiences. So after I finish creating this one, I'll show you guys exactly uh, the other ones that I've selected. But we're gonna uncheck this box. When we're testing, we don't need to have it selected. And for the placements, we can leave it on automatic, but I'm gonna go ahead and just edit it because we really only need feeds for this one so we can just uncheck the rest of these okay and we can keep going down now we don't need to worry about cost control or anything like that we're gonna do five ad sets with $20 budget I want to spend a hundred dollars a day on this campaign so $20 budget will be a good range on each of these ad sets we're gonna go one day click if I wasn't on a limited budget for this I would go for at least like 10 ad sets with $20 budget but I want to make the best use of this money so we're gonna go a hundred bucks a day so one day click and we're gonna hit continue and now we have to go in and do the creative for this so give me a second I'm gonna have to go and make the Facebook page and everything but let me go do that for you guys and I'll be right back all right so I finished the ad I figured I would just create it off camera to save time for this video but simply just made a page for this uh, store picked single image or video took the thumbnail directly from the vault took the video directly from the vault and just came up with this copy here uh, some of it I took from the vault some of it I took my own spin on because I wanted to be unique just in case somebody else might have tested this product so went with this headline of need new boots for the winter question mark and then talked about the main three points of the product this is usually the structure that I follow with the ad copy sometimes we switch it up a little bit but overall we follow this approach uh, if you guys want to see what the ad looks like full size uh, we can go to the desktop and I can do a preview uh, well I guess it's not letting me preview it on this link which is weird but you guys can see what it looks like uh, just the headline there and then I also added a little bit of a uh, like headline on there you guys can see the video it hooks them in with these are the ultimate winter boots um, just showing some clips like attention grabbers I also have another version of this video I'm gonna test uh, I reached out to my video editor for the vault and asked him to make another one just so I could split test the two of them when I'm testing a new product I always like to do a split test but this is the one that came directly from the vault um, and yeah it's pretty much done 
change this call to action to shop now and then we could just go ahead and launch this thing now since it is a new account when i click launch it's going to ask me for my credit card info i'm not going to include that in the video today so let me go ahead and fill that up and we can just go ahead and get started all right so the first ad set is live it's just got to go through the review process but you guys can see i've got the ad inside of here now the only thing that's left for me to do is make another version of this ad i'm going to put it inside of the ad set so that they can run against each other and we can see which one is the top performer and then i have to make four more audiences so i'm going to do those two things really fast and i'll just put like a fast forward effect so you guys can watch me doing it uh without having to sit and stare for 20 minutes so and let's go ahead and create the rest of these so yeah All right, so I just finished creating the five audiences. As you guys can see, I've gone extremely broad on these, and I believe that that will be the right decision. So I've gone with footwear, workwear, coat, which is just you know for people that are shopping for the winter, safety boot, and outerwear. All of these are super broad, but they all tie into exactly what the product is promoting. So I believe that they will do quite well. And most importantly, we're gonna be killing the ones that aren't performing anyway, so it's just a broad test. But now the only thing that's left is to create a new version of the creative, and then we will be done for the day. I'm gonna jump back tomorrow with an update for you guys. As long as the ad gets approved, if it doesn't get approved, then I'll jump back after we have a day's worth of ad spend, and I'll show you guys the numbers that we're sitting at. But you can see here, <coughs> the entire process took me like, 30 minutes or less uh, to craft everything and put it all together so not including the store design but when you're using viral vault it really makes things easier because we create the content for you we give you the direction so all you got to do is just follow along and put in the work but I'm gonna make the other creative off camera to save time on this video and I'm gonna come back when we have some results for you guys so talk to you guys tomorrow on day two okay so it is super late uh, it's actually still day one I was just about to go to bed, but I figured I had to include this. Literally at the end of the first day, you guys can see that we're already at $239 in sales, which is even surprising to me. And just so you know, it's not fake. You can see the Facebook right here. I just refresh it for you guys. We've got four purchases. We're looking at $12 cost per purchase. This one's at $5, this one's at $9. So I'm curious on what we're gonna pull for tomorrow, but for day one, less than 24 hours to get this thing to over $230. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So I definitely wanted to include this and I'll update you guys properly tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so here's an update on how everything is going. The first night that I launched the ads, we were able to crack $240 in sales, which to me was a crazy sign that this product was about to blow up. But on the second day, something pretty strange happened. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're looking at the month here, you can see that first day, boom, everything popped. But on the second day, we didn't even end up getting a single sale. So I really had to sit and I had to think about this. I'm like, what? went wrong from the first day to the second day and there are some things that i noticed that i needed to jump in and change and i did them today and we're already seeing better results because of this so what i noticed is firstly i'm targeting the big four countries right but the only currency that i had on the website was us so all the traffic from the other countries that was coming, they were unable to convert the currency into what they wanted. And I think that that made a huge impact on the numbers from yesterday because a lot of our traffic yesterday came from other places outside of the US. Also, I looked at the landing page and while it was clean, I noticed that it was missing a very important element. It was missing a size chart 
for the shoes that converts the size from the US size to the other sizes because you know not everybody uses the uh, 7 to 14 sizes that they use in the US so I jumped back in I made those changes and today we're off to a good start it's it's like 10 a.m. right now we've gotten that first sale my goal is by the end of today to surpass the sales that we had gotten on the first day. If we can do that, I will mark this as a successful case study because technically right now we're still profitable on everything, but we need to jump into the Facebook ads and we need to make some changes because at this point, some of the ad sets are clearly unprofitable and there's one ad set that is standing out to me the most. So I'm about to make a last push for the day I'm gonna do a huge budget increase on our winning ad set. I'm gonna kill our losing ad sets and we're gonna see what we end up with at the end of the day. So let's go ahead, let's switch over to my other computer and I will show you guys um, sort of how I review the Facebook ads and I'll show you how I'm gonna scale these things up. But pretty interesting and I wanted to include this into the case study because I want you guys to see the failures too. I don't just wanna be like, oh, I just hit a home run with everything that I do. Um, the, the first day of launch, yeah, that's pretty cool, but um, you guys probably running into some inconsistencies as well. So if you do run into those inconsistencies, make sure you approach it the same way that I'm approaching it today and think about what you could do to improve instead of just thinking that you got zucked. <laughs> so let's go over to the ads manager and let's take a look at what I'm gonna do in terms of killing and scaling these ads and let's see if we can crack the goal by the end of the day. Even if we don't, I will still say that this is a success because to go from nothing to building a profitable store in 48 hours, pretty cool to me. But anyways, let's go ahead, let's take a look. So I believe it was the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle who once said, to know thyself, one must first know thy numbers. No, I'm just kidding. But if he was running Facebook ads, he definitely would have said that. And that is something that I believe is extremely important. So let's talk about the numbers that you need to know when reviewing your Facebook ads. Because if you don't know your numbers, you're shooting blind. You're basically going in there with a blindfold and just spamming buttons on the keyboard. You, you need to understand these two numbers right here when you're reviewing your campaigns. So it all makes sense. So. Firstly, you need to understand your profit margin. Now this one is pretty standard and we provide this for you inside of Viral Vault, but all it is is the sale price minus the AliExpress price. So in this case, we're selling the product for about 60 bucks. To fulfill every order, it cost us $22.10 and that's not counting the extra fees. Um, perhaps I should have added those in there, but it's around $22. So we can say our profit margin is about $37 bucks, um, in this example for this product. Now, this number is important because we're going to use it to calculate our break-even ROAS, which to me is a little more important because it gives you an overall glance at how it's performing. So. For the break-even rows, all you gotta do is take your sale price and divide it by the profit margin. So right here we got $59.99 and we're gonna divide that by 37 and that gives us 1.58 break-even ROAS. Now these terms, maybe they're confusing to you, maybe you don't get it. Basically what this means is that if inside of Facebook on the return on ad spend column, if it says 1.58, that means that we're at break-even. That means that we're not losing money, but we're just on that level. So. Now that we know that, let me tell you guys a little bit about how I review the data. So this is sort of like the four things that I go through when I'm checking it out. Firstly, I look at the CPM. Um, the way that I review this is thinking like, okay, if the CPM is bad, then that means that the content and audience match is just off. Like if the CPM is super high, that means that the people that we're showing this ad to, they're uninterested. And as a result of that, that would mean that the creative is bad. So if the CPM checks, then we're gonna look at the next one, which is the CPC and the CTR all, which is basically how people click on the video and how they interact with it. So basically, how well are they interacting with the video, which also is tied to the creative. Next, I like to look at the CPC and CTR link click which shows us if they're actually interested in the product. Because if they're clicking on the link, 
they're gonna show that they're somewhat interested in the product and that they wanna buy. And then lastly, what most people focus on, they don't even look at these other three, they just focus on the cost per purchase and ROAS, which tell you if you're making money. I think that's terrible. I don't think that you should just focus on that because otherwise you're not gonna know what needs to be optimized in your funnel. So now we know that, Let's go ahead and let's jump into the ads manager and look at what we're dealing with here. So you guys can see that in total so far, we've spent $188. That means we have about $120 left to deal with. And our break even ROAS, like I said before, is 1.58. So we can see some of them here that are losing money. This one right here, $1.57, $38 cost per purchase. We're gonna go ahead and kill this one. $37, no sales at all. We're gonna go ahead and kill this one as well. And these two right here, or these three right here, let me go ahead and just hit this. These three right here are still break even. This one is actually quite profitable. Um, so what we're gonna do now, since we've taken $40 off of our daily budget, what I'm thinking about doing is duplicating this ad set right here, the one that is doing the best, and I'm gonna increase the budget to $100. Now, that might bring us a little bit over our $300 in total ad spend, but I think it'll be a nice push for the rest of this day. And for these other two, I'm thinking that I'm gonna be killing this one very soon because it's not really performing that well like we see it's at break even right here. And if we're looking at um, the cost per link click, this is actually the most expensive one um, out of the mix. Even though it has the highest CTR, it's costing us the most to get people to there. By far, our best performer is this one with the safety boot interest. So that's the one that I think I'm gonna increase and those are the changes that I'm gonna to make today so if we look at the stats for uh, today you guys can see that uh, the footwear audience is getting a sale which is good and um, the outerwear audience none of them have gotten a sale and this one too uh, is having a high cost per click so it is a good sign that this one is probably not gonna go all that well but anyways um, let's go ahead let's make those changes and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all said and done all right, so I launched that $100 one, and I also made the decision to just do the US for this one. Even though we don't have a ton of data to make that call, you guys can see right here that all the purchases come from the US on this ad set. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna test with that, and we're gonna see how it goes. Um, another thing I'm gonna do off camera is I'm going to put another creative inside of here just to run a split test. Since we're gonna be spending some budget, why not split test a new creative? So that's all for now. Oh, also here's the size chart. All I did was threw it into Photoshop, stuck the logo on it, and uh, called it a day. But yeah, that's really everything that I'm gonna do for now. I will update you guys later in the day after we get some results on this $100 ad set and we'll see how we're sitting. But if you look overall, like I said, our break even ROAS is 1.58. So we're just sitting a little over that point. So hopefully now that we killed some of our losers, we've scaled up our winners, we can get to that point of profitability and get a good amount of sales uh, for this day. So that's all for now. I'm gonna jump back when we are on. See you guys then. All right, so it is the end of the day now, and as you guys can see, after making those changes that I did in the morning, we were able to surpass our previous high on this store and hit $300 today in sales, which I'm pretty happy about because we started this thing out from nothing just 48 hours ago, brand new store, brand new pixel. We tested one product, and we've got this thing profitable in a short time frame. Tomorrow, I'm gonna jump back and I'm gonna do a final review of the numbers for you guys. But just so you can see for today, we spent about $128. The $100 ad set that I launched didn't really do that well, but the other two ad sets performed very well, which is great for us. So this is a great example for you guys who are out there and not having a massive budget for testing. If there's one thing to take away from this, it's that you need to optimize your store more than focusing on testing a ton of products. In this example, we only tested one and we were able to get it to profitable numbers in just 48 hours. Also having it from the vault helped because we had the content ready to go. It was a good product suggestion. But anyways, that's all for today. 
tomorrow I'm gonna do a full review for you guys of the overall numbers and we're gonna look at how much profit we made in this 48 hour time span so I'll see you guys then talk soon all right so we can successfully wrap up this case study now I want to show you guys the final numbers and just talk about some last thoughts before we finish this video up so Here's the total numbers you guys can see. We spent 290 on ads, which was less than the budget that we set for testing. To fulfill the orders, it cost us about $198. So in total, our expenses were a little under 500 bucks. We got a sale this morning with no ad spend. I think it just came from organic, somebody sharing the post, which brought our revenue to $600 in total on this store over the last 48 hours. And as a result of that, guys, we brought in $111 in profit, which gives us a 20% profit margin. So look, I know these numbers might not be insane. This isn't some zero to $10,000 a day in 24 hours, but I don't really think that exists. That's not out there. I did a case study last year where we went from zero to 1K a day in 72 hours, but I spent way more on ads in testing. I tested multiple products. In this case, we took one product, brand new store, brand new ad account pixel, and we built it up to a profitable level in a short time frame. So for me, I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that this will be a good source of motivation and a good guideline for you guys to follow who are going out there and trying to build your own successful store. So just so you guys can confirm these numbers, you can see the number 290 here. You can see the number 599 here. All these numbers are legit, and this is what we ended up pulling from the entire case study. So I think this was pretty fun. I enjoyed being transparent with you guys, showing you every step of the way, and also showing that you don't need to have a crazy budget when you're first getting started out. So I'm gonna go now, switch over to my camera, and we're gonna close this video out, but I just wanna give you guys one last reminder. The product, the description, the video ad, the targeting, Everything that we used to promote came from the viral vault. I'll show you guys again what you're gonna be seeing inside of this. You can see we provide you guys with daily trending products with everything you need to launch them. Here's another example. This product right here, it's ready to go. It has the video ad done for you. All you have to do is take it, test it, and launch it. We give you the thumbnail. We give you targeting suggestions. We give you a competitor so you can see how the product is doing. If you guys are looking for a better, more effective way to test products this is going to be incredibly beneficial for you we literally ripped this product from the vault and we're able to get results with it in that 48 hour time span and like I told you guys if you go to the website right now you'll see that the vault is currently closed so you guys are gonna have to just go ahead and join the wait list and at the end of the month I'm gonna open up just a couple spots and the people on the wait list are gonna be the first to know so let's go over to the camera and let's close this thing out Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I know it was quite a long video, but I wanted to make something fully transparent. There's not much content out there like this. Everybody always likes to hide their products in their stores. So I wanted to share something that would give you guys a full bird's eye view of what it looks like to launch something and show you guys my workflow so that you could adopt it and get some results for yourself. So I appreciate you guys for sticking all the way through. If you wanna see more high level e-commerce and entrepreneurship content just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments what content you guys would like to see from me. I'm here to help you win and in any way I can do that, feel free to let me know. One last reminder as well, make sure you guys join that wait list so you can be the first to know when we open up the vault again. But that's all for today. Thank you guys again. I hope you guys crush it this Q4 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.